This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a very common problem with the Electrolux dryer. This blower wheel gets full of lint and makes a lot of noise. Here's the noise, kind of a rumble. Luckily though, it's easy to fix. So we just pull out the filter, be good to unplug it. And then we take out these two Phillips head screws here. They're kind of longer ones. And then there's two little ones. We're just gonna remove this filter housing. It's really easy to do. Two little ones on each side. <clears throat> Once we get the filter housing out, we're gonna have access to the blower wheel. Not very good access. Removing the front panel makes it a lot easier, but it takes a long time. So this is kind of a quicker way to do it in terms of less uh, total work. So we're removing any lint that we see. And then here's the blower wheel where it lives, right inside here. So not great access, but if you take a straightened coat hanger, you can get it inside these little plastic veins and pull the lint out. And then it won't rumble anymore. It'll sound great. So I'll show you how to do it. So you just need to straighten out a coat hanger. You can put a little hook at the end, probably help. You're gonna just go on a fishing expedition. You're gonna fish in there, and then you're gonna get it inside that plastic vein and pull it towards you, and it'll pull some of the lint with it. And then you can just reach in there and grab it. I got really big hands, so I'm actually able to, to do the grabbing. It's not easy, but I think if you have regular hands or smaller hands, it would be pretty easy. So you're gonna just pull that lint into this area closer to you, and then reach in and pull it out. And unfortunately, each one of the veins is gonna have stuff in it. And I think there's probably 20 of them. So you'll need to pull some stuff out. And then to move the blower wheel so you can get to more lint, you can just reach in and grab the spin basket or tumbler and move it a little bit to your left. And that'll actually move the blower wheel and give you access to some, some more of the uh, veins that are full of lint and then you can do the same procedure. So take you probably 15 minutes, I think, all together, maybe 20 minutes and you'll be done. If you do it the more conventional way, uh, you have to do a removal of the top panel and then the front panel, and that could take probably twice as long. So this is a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and almost no disassembly. And you'll find that it has a lot of lint in there. This is a design flaw with the Electrolux dryer that they haven't corrected yet. It's just the veins in the blower wheel are too close together and it causes it to uh, jam up with lint. <clears throat> and it still works, but it doesn't move the air as well and it gets a bad rumbly sound. So once you think you've got enough of it, you can go ahead and just put this housing back into position and you don't have to put in the screws. You can just put it in and then start it up and listen to it and see if it's better. If it is better, you can put it back together. If not, you might have to fish out a little bit more. To put it back together, you just add those longer Phillips head screws back into the housing. And then once you've done that, there's the two little ones. You tighten those up, put the filter back in, and you're done. And I've done this a bunch of times, uh, so it's really fast, pretty easy to do. I think the only hard part is just bending the uh, coat hanger mm. to get an angle where you can reach in there and fish it out. You just want to be patient take your time and you'll get it. It might take you about five minutes to kind of learn how to get that um, wire bent correctly. But pretty cool procedure. Uh, I used to always have to remove the top panel and the front panel and then I read online that a technician was doing it this way. I tried it. It's like, wow, it's a lot easier, a lot faster. So then when you're done, you can close it and then you can take it for a test drive. You can start it up, listen to it and it should be a lot less uh, rumbling and really smooth operation. So this should work great for you. Really appreciate you watching and hopefully you'll have real good luck with this. And it's something you might have to do maybe every uh, couple months or so. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed 
and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.